All right, you guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jessica. Today, I am going to be filming the rest of my eye product collection. So basically, I am going to be filming my eyeliners, single shadows, pigments, and my mascaras. I do want to apologize a little bit. I'm not feeling the best today. I think I'm just, I'm just really exhausted, so I apologize if my energy seems low. It's because it is, and it's not for a lack of coffee. <laughs> so... Um, yeah, also it's a little cloudy, so the consistency of the lighting might be a little bit different from my other videos. Unfortunately, I couldn't wait to film this because it's going to be cloudy for the rest of the week, and I I just need to finish this up. Okay, so this is, I believe it's the Visante Extreme Rose Gold Eyeliner, and it is a rose gold color. I'm going to give you a big swatch because I know it's pretty close to my actual skin tone. But it does give a nice little highlight. I use this for my inner corner highlight. And this is also in my Project Pan. And then this is the MAC eyeliner in Silver Skates. This one I use as an inner corner highlight as well. Yeah, you can see it right there. Just gives a nice silvery touch to the eye. This one is a Lancome eyeliner. It's a white eyeliner in Blanc. And I use this every single day on my inner or on my inner rim. So this is the Makeup Forever Professional Aqua XL Eyeliner Pencil or Eye Pencil. Let's see, I don't see a color on here. It says number I24, maybe. This I got in like a hundred point perk sort of thing. It's that bright blue is really pretty. Um, and it came in combo with the black one that you'll see in a sec. And then this is Right Now Eyeliner Pencil in Scott from The Bomb. And it's definitely a burgundy, mulberry type color. It's really close to black, brown, but not quite. It's definitely like a purple. Okay, this is Jelly Pong Pong. Two-in-one eyeliner in shadow. I use this for eyeliner, though. And it's like a jumbo pencil and it's that brown it does have a little bit of a shimmer to it it's nice it does pull a little bit this is the Mr. Bing ColourPop cream and gel liner and this is a warm tone brown it's very creamy very easy to use this is a Marc Jacobs black eyeliner. I think it's just called black. Yeah, I don't see a color on here. I believe it's just called black. It's just their black one. Um, it does scroll up. I don't know if the full package does. This is just a mini. And it's nice and black. Okay, so this is the Makeup Forever, the double XL one that I, the com, the one that got, that I got together. And this is in the shade M10. and it's very black. It's actually blacker than the Marc Jacobs one. And then this one I got in a gift set. It's the Tarte Sex Kitten Black Eyeliner. Yeah, no color on this one either, but it's black, so... Definitely not as black as that Makeup Forever one, but somewhere in between the Makeup Forever and the Marc Jacobs. This is the Bella Pierre Gel Eyeliner in Ebony. This one also pulls a little bit more. And it's definitely equivalent, in my opinion, to that Tartist one. This one I'm actually using right now for um, my daily use. And it's the Smashbox Always Sharp Waterproof Coal Liner in Raven. It's black. <laughs> and it's nice because the cap actually, like, you have to push this down and it brings up pop, um, product. And when you put the cap on, see how it says twist, it actually sharpens it in there, which is convenient and nice. Right there, it works really well. It's nice and creamy as well. All right, you guys, so these are my single eyeshadows. I will go ahead and swatch these for you. Some of them are technically highlighters, but I use them as shadows, like this color pop. This is in Might Be. Super Shock Cheek Highlighter. It's too dark on me. On the website, it looked a little bit lighter, but it's it's just too dark for my skin tone. But it's still beautiful, so I'm keeping it and going to use it as a eyeshadow. Also, in my makeup inventory, I didn't actually have these. I got these in BoxyCharm, 
prior when it, before I like did my makeup inventory. These are shadow sticks, so I'm putting them and technically going to count them as my single eyeshadow collection because I don't know where else to put them and I'm not going to make a separate category just for something that I personally don't go out and buy anyways. It's just something that's kind of something that I get from BoxyCharm. It's not something that I actually go for. Okay, so let's get started. Also, I have this MAC Duo. I do, did count this as my single shadow because it is in a single pot. There are two shadows in here, obviously, though. This is an Illusionary and Burning Ambition. I don't know which is which. If I were to guess, I would assume Illusionary and Burning Ambition. I'm not sure, though. They are kind of a baked, but this is just so pretty. Whoa. And then this Gold Vanilla is so pretty. I love it so much. This is Brilliant Eye Brightener, and it's by Thrive Cosmetics. I've never heard of it prior. It's in the shade Stella. It is really pretty. And nice and brightening. And then this is from DSL Eyeshadow Crayon. And that's all the information. Oh, no, wait, it's in Illusion. There we go. It's definitely more of a peachier kind of tan shimmer. So this one is a Becca, I didn't, I think it's an eyeshadow, maybe it's a highlighter, I'm not really sure. It's in the shade Rose Gold. Obviously I'm using as a highlight, or I mean as a shadow. Um, it's really, really pretty. I mean Becca Cosmetics always has the very, very, very pretty products. It's actually really close to that one over there, but it's right there. This is in Vintage by Jessica Lembinski. <laughs> I don't know how to say that last name. And this is in Crystal Pink. Right there, nice and bright. And then this is by Inspire, and it's a really pretty taupe. It's in Carnival. I actually love this shade. It's so pretty, especially on the eye. I don't even know if you can see it. Let me build it up a little bit more. I kind of went a little light on that. I don't know if you can see it very well. This is the Urban Decay eyeshadow in Scratch. It's a nice pink. Very pretty. And then this is the Might Be shade. Oh my gosh, so pretty. This is Sequin. This is one of the ones that I'm panning. This is the Kathleen Lights color, another one that I'm panning. Super orange, coppery color. My swatches are getting worse and worse. <laughs> okay, I just went off camera and undid all of these because I was having trouble getting the tops open because I like to keep them really tight so that they don't dry out, like from that, you know? Okay, yeah, so this is Arrow right there it's definitely it's actually more red than it's showing up on camera for some reason it's looking very orange but there's just a lot of glitter in this and that's just it's not my fave and then this is partridge i love this color i think it's so unique especially unique to my personal collection it's got a duochrome kind of to it but it it's not like the usual brown blue duochrome it's like a brown green this is Cusp, another one that I'm a little bit more disappointed to, dis disappointed in, because it's so sheer. And unfortunately, this is nice for like a topper of this type of color, but it's a unique color, so I don't have a color, like a base to put underneath it. And then this is Lala. And I love this color. It's just such a pretty, pretty color. Look at that. This is Birthday Cake. This, I believe, was limited edition, but I also feel like I've seen it around. It might just be the packaging, because it has the blue packaging that was limited edition. But it was like a free one that you would get with purchase whenever they were having their birthday sale. It's very much like sequin, in my opinion. That's sequin. I guess not so much. But like it's a pink with silver sparkles. Okay, you guys, this is my ridiculous amount of pigments. <laughs> I don't know why I have this many. I do know I have this many. I, when I was younger, I 
would save up and get these MAC pigments because I was told they'll last forever and they do last forever but they're a pain in the butt to use and they last forever. <laughs> okay, so the first two I'm gonna go ahead and show you. Also, I'm not gonna swatch these. They're pretty true to color from what you can see right here. Um, plus, they're like I said, they're a mess. Um, so I just don't wanna clean that up. Okay, the first two um, are from MAC and this is from my friend whose sister worked at MAC um, a while back and she would get these samples, and this is in the color Shanting. Shantung. It's like a mauve pink. It's really pretty. There is a little bit of sparkle in there, but it's mainly matte, which is like a little bit of glitter. This one has no name, unfortunately, because it is beautiful. It's like a brown, but there's so much glitter in there. Maybe you can see it on there. There's so much shimmer. It's like an antique brown. I have this... Bare Minerals, and it is in the color Lux, L-U-X-E, and it is a black, basically. I think there's like, it maybe looks a little bit more brown, but essentially I use this as a black. This is the MAC pigment in Bloodline. It is a deep, deep, almost black brown, and it looks a little bit lighter on camera than it actually is, but it's basically almost black. This one is in soft wash gray which is what it is it's definitely like a bluey gray it has a little bit of a shimmer to it this one is navel blue it is definitely a true I don't want to say navy blue because it's not that dark but you know it gets pretty close this one is dazzle ray very much a tan I would say maybe more of like has like a gold um, look to it as well. Lily White has a tan pink to it. This is a true pink and it's in helium. There's kind of a duochrome in there. Um, but the duochrome, I don't know if it's called, necessarily called duochrome. If it's just like pink to like ultra pink, I don't know. <laughs> this one is Sun Pepper. I would say this is like a brown with like a red duochrome almost. It definitely has at least like a super duochrome or duo, oh my gosh, a super red um, tint to it. Like it definitely pulls red brown. These, well, this one I don't have the name for. I, yeah, this is just one that I got from my mom because she also had them and it's like a duochrome blue purple but it definitely on the lid it looks purple and then this one is actually the same as this one I don't know why I split it in two but I did and it is in pink pearl and it's pink with a purple duochrome I don't know why I decided to <laughs> purchase such a big size of this mat of this pink um silly young me this green I also don't have the color for it's something that my mom um, had gotten and I got a little sample of it. Same with this brown unfortunately but it's nice a nice bronze brown. This is literally glitter. It's um, Reflect Duo Purple. This one I don't have the color for. Again this is one that I got from my mom and I believe though it's the vanilla color. I loved this color. This is actually I asked her to refill it because I had actually gone through a whole one and I went through it again. And then this, oops. this bottom color is the same as this one. Again, I don't know why I like emptied it out, but um, this one is called Sweet Sienna. It's a gray. This is chocolate brown. It's literally a brown shimmer. This is blue brown. It's that famous pigment that has the duochrome blue brown. This is carp Copper Sparkle. This looks so crazy on blue eyes because, you know, the orange is opposite to blue on the color wheel, so it just really makes it pop. And then Kitsch Miss. And it's a silvery pink. Definitely reminds me of Christmas. Mascaras. This will be nice and quick. So I have these mascaras right now, basically two Tarte and they're literally the same Tartus. And to Clinique, this is the one that I'm using right now. 
100 point perks I got these I really love the Clinique mascaras for me they just work I don't have super you know stubby eyelashes I have I'm pretty blessed with naturally long lashes for the most part the problem is that they're super blonde so if I'm not wearing mascara you can't see them at all but yeah I really like the Clinique mascara and so anytime there's a 100 point perk I always request to get one so this one is the high impact mascara this is what it looks like. It has a natural brish bristle wand. And then this one is high impact. Is that the same? Oh, okay. So this one is the, the one I just showed you was the Mascara Impact Optimal. This one is Lash Evaluating Mascara. All Clinique pretty much seems the same to me. I'm not going to open this yet though because I... I'm not ready yet. This is the one that I'm using right now. This is the Tardis Lash Paint. Unfortunately, I hate when Tarte, I think, is the only company that I've seen do this, but they don't have, like, a twisty. It's like a pullout for their sample, which is really frustrating. But anyways, so this is what the wand looks like. It's got the um, plastic bristle bristles or rubber bristles. I think it's plastic. I have the second one. This is one I got in a boxy charm. And my battery is flashing at me, so I'm going to end this video here, which is good timing because this is the end of it. Thank you guys so much for watching. This should be the end of the um, series, I think. Maybe I post this before I post the end of the lip one, but that's it. And you guys, thank you so much for your time. I hope you enjoyed, and have a great day. Bye.